Hi Rachel players, hello YouTubers, Dennis Sleeman here. I am a mod at the Dutch gaming site RachelPlayer.nl and today I'm making this video to show you my Philips CDI collection and talk a little bit about the Philips CDI in general. Now sometimes my videos are Dutch and sometimes they are in English. This video is in English because hey, I wanted as much people as possible to enjoy my Philips CDI collection because it's the best console ever. Now, <laughs> the Philips CDI gets a lot of crap in general because um, uh, on the internet it is um, talked about like uh, the worst console ever and I don't feel like that it, because for the simple reason it isn't a console. The, uh, a PC is not a console and the Philips CDI is not a console. You could play uh, games on it, yes, but it was also made for video CDs and encyclopedias encyclopedia is how you call it in English and um, let's start with um, my first console ever my first ever Philips CDI console that is and that is that is this big boy it was a little busted but hey I got it for a whopping one euro at a flea market so I can't really complain here it is heavy though so let's start work out here <clears throat> all right I'm back in shape <laughs> It, it, it's, it is ridiculous how heavy it is compared to other video game consoles or multimedia systems in general compared to DVDs uh, systems it is heavy too. Um, later I got um, this bad boy, the Philips CDI 450. There are a lot of versions uh, going around of Philips CDIs but they're basically the same. You can compare it a little bit with um, Xbox 360 systems. You have the original white Xbox 360, uh, 360 but there is also an Xbox uh, Slim version. So that's something uh, you can compare with. Um, I actually got this 450 uh, CDI not for the console but for the controller. Because with the old Philips CDI I had this controller. Mm, let's get a little closer. And this controller is a freaking nightmare. This here is the D-pad and these are the buttons. So if you are playing a video game on here, it goes like this, or so. It's a nightmare. I mean, it works if you're watching a video CD. It is just like a remote control, but playing games is, is, is a nightmare. So I bought the Philips uh, CDI 450, and I got this controller with it. Now this controller is heaven. It is a great controller, and I would even go so far as calling it. Um, uh, equal to the SNES controller. It just lies perfectly in your hands and it has one button that has no function. But it is great. The D-pad is great. The buttons are great. And playing with this is like ah, da, 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 da. and playing with this controller is like <coughs> God damn it. <coughs> it's, it's just so frustrating man. Just do yourself a favor if you're going to play Philips CDI uh, for uh, games, some, some games on it, get the controller, it is a must. So, um, enough about that, let's uh, talk uh, and show you my collection. Now, I'm starting with the Philips uh, CDI CDs, or video CDs. I, um, what I mean with that is this. This is the granddaddy of the DVD, and it says here CDI, and it also says here CDI. And this is Top Gun, you can't go more 80s than that. Digital video sticker on here. Uh, when Philips um, and other companies started with the um, um, uh, video CDs, they were marketed uh, together with the Philips CDI. Later that changed. I have Star Trek, Sliver, The Mask. And here you can see that um, they removed the Philips CDI logo now that could be because it is another company or but it plays fine on the Philips CDI. I have a Brady Bunch and I have a Japanese one that also plays fine Space Jam. The quality of these video CDs are piss poor. I, <laughs> I, I must do a video about um, Space Jam on DVD and Space Jam on a video CD because it is well it's better than a VHS the old uh, recorders but Damn, it's this man, it's poor. And um, like I said, the video CDI, uh, the Philips CDI isn't just um, 
a console. It also had um, encyclopedias. Now, a lot of young kids are going like, what? Yeah, my English is bad. I'm bad, not that great. So, uh, encyclopedia, a book where you can find stuff that you want to know, like uh, what is uh, one of the poisonous snake and in the 80s and early 90s there wasn't Google out there kids so you had to um, search it up in books and the Philip CDI made that digital now what I have here is um, the Dutch version of the Oscars the, the Gouden Kalf so you can find everything you wanted to know about that and this is the sample pack that came with the Philip CDI it's about games and uh, movies and uh, other kinds of stuff now here you have the medical encyclopedia. Hey, this could save your life. And an encyclopedia about history. So yeah, it's, it's hard to imagine, but back then, hey, you had to look it up in books, and that was boring. So this came with pictures and and and, and sound, and it yeah, it's, it was a, a different time back then. Now um, forget all that. Let's talk about some games. Um, let's get this game collection over here. Let's start with one of the games that is famous for the Philips CDI and that almost, yeah, that's ruined it for the Philips CDI. Hotel Mario, and I don't have the Zelda games, but Hotel Mario and the Zelda games are talked about a lot when it comes to gaming on the Philips CDI. Well, I have to agree that um, the cartoon style is crap. From, uh, with Mario and Zelda, but the gameplay is, is pretty decent, it's pretty fun, I find it fun, and it reminds me of uh, the first Mario Bros. game and uh, the mini games on Super Mario Bros. 3. I, I enjoy it, I enjoy it. So next up in my collection is Domino, and we have Lemonix, you can't go wrong with that, even on a Philips CDI, it's a great game. Uh, Phineas Speedway, no comment. Demo's Quest, this is a decent game. Little Devil, I, I, I enjoy this game. Uh, um, a little fact, uh, there is a Super Nintendo version of this game, or there was a video, uh, a Super Nintendo version of this game. Maybe there's a prototype out there, but um, Little Devil was going to come out on the Super Nintendo, but it was um, unreleased. So if you want to play the game, the Philips CDI version is as close as you can get these days. Cartoon Carnival, great for my kids. Um, Merlin's Apprentice. Well, this is one of the better puzzle games on uh, the Philips CDI. And it also has that cartoon style that I talked earlier about in the Zelda and Mario games. But this looks great. It is better and because it has nothing to compare it to, uh, it, it's it's. It's great. It's yeah, well, I have to do, do a review about this uh, one time. What I also have to do a review about is the Family Games 2. This is one crazy ass game, and it's more like small uh, mini games. It takes good, uh, games like Doom and Mortal Kombat 2, and it makes weird ass simple mini games of uh, those games. It, defer, it deserves its own review. Uh, the Apprentice, one of the best games, if not the best game, on the Philips CDI. Pinball, Pack Panic. If <laughs> if we're talking about hidden gems, uh, a lot of people talk about the hidden gem, uh, hidden gems on the NES. Like for example, um, what do we have here? Uh, Over Horizon, a game that is only released on PAL and it's great shooter. Maybe you can call that a hidden gem. A hidden gem for the Philips CI is Pack Panic, and this comes with a Great box, paper box, uh, great looking manual, and it actually is a great game to play. It has several games on there, and they are based on Tetris, so um, there are some other things on there. But great game, hidden gem, if you uh, see this lying around for cheap, buy it, you will not regret it. Great CDI game, hidden gem. Uh, Christmas Crisis, great game, if you want to know more about that. Um, look up the review of my uh, fellow countryman, um, Half Blind Gamer. He did a great review about this game. Arcade Classics with Mrs. Pac-Man, uh, Galaxian, Galaga, all the classics. 
And then we have a game that is crap, even on the Philips CDI. Dark Castle. The Angry Video Gamer did a review about this. And, uh, well, yeah, I think he did also did the Philips CDI version. The Mega Drive version is crap, and this one is even worse. Then we have two Dutch exclusives. Philips is a Dutch company, and there are quite a few uh, Dutch exclusive uh, Philips CDI games. And one of those games is Lingo, based on the TV show. It, it is great fun. I, I have played this with uh, three friends, and it is a great multiplayer game. This video is uh, later uh, uploaded, so if you want to see that, this is a Dutch game. This video will be in Dutch, but hey, there isn't much information about uh, Dutch exclusive CDI games, so watch it anyway. So um, that's coming out later. What is also coming out later is a video about this. Uh, about Sport Freaks. Sport Freaks is um, I'll show you. Sport Freaks is an old video, t old TV show about uh, yeah, sport questions. Uh, they will uh, spin a wheel, and you will get a year, a sport, and um, a country. Before uh, example, 1995, uh, judo, and Japan, and you will get a question about those three things. So it, it you just have to see a Dutch exclusive game. And I also made a video with some friends about this that I will uh, put later on my channel. And it's great. And it, it's amazing how much uh, fun you can have. Yeah, I said fun. How much fun you can have with Philips CDI games and multiplayer. So, um, yeah, that's about it. What I wanted to say and uh, show you about my Philips uh, CDI collection. So I hope you enjoyed it.